Okay, so a bit further with preparation. So I do that kind of handle. I think maybe I will need some pipe just to extend it, but it doesn't matter. What I didn't show you previously while I was doing this, this screw, there is a place at least to position the, the ball of the bearing or the ball from the ball bearing, Jesus Christ, which I put in there. But while in there, but while I was uh, doing or moving back and forth the gearbox, I completely forgot I would screw it already. And because of that, you will have the chance to see the tool already. Uh, I think it is some. No, what's the size of it, honestly? I had here three sixteenth. I'm pretty sure it's the wrong size, but doesn't matter. It's not so tight. So I will just unscrew this one, find my billboard ball from the bearing and then assemble everything back together. And I shall be good to go. Oh, it is. That's the third one. Ah, damn it. So basically if you will be doing with your own gearbox what you need to do is to remove it and create whatever puller you like or follow the way I did it or create something by your own, doesn't matter. Again, okay, the ball from the bearing, it's in there. Somewhere deep inside, doesn't matter. Here it is. And the intention is to have it placed, damn it, right here. So what I was talking about, the seal, it's still here. I think it shouldn't make harm. Obviously I can remove it. I will show you after how I'm planning to remove it. Basically I will use the same method. So I hope I will be able to screw it in somewhere here and then just pull it off. It should be just easier for me to do it other way around. So uh, I need unfortunately two hands to put it into standing position. I'm just gonna make it standing and then I will insert the tool, assemble everything back and I'll show you the parting out process, hopefully. So, so the process will be place the ball here, then put the tool in here. And now I expect to be able to thread in this one, which should keep the ball in place. I think you cannot see it in here, it's just too dark. But I can see the ball there. And as soon as I'm gonna touch it, I will stop threading and just Okay, it's in there, I should be fine, and now what I'm gonna do is just to screw in those, oh damn it, it's not pretty ergonomic right now, for me at least. You don't see what is happening in here, but I just need to support the whole gearbox with my legs. That's the whole point of this. started and right now I need to relief a little bit here to support it okay. Maybe quarter turn okay. I'm actually pretty good here. Let 
me just tight permanently the screws. Yeah, now the the part here which trying to assemble to part it will start, and I think to some extent I will need to support myself. I do not see anything happening, so I'm gonna bring some pipe and try to do it with some pipe. Okay, I did two things. First of all, I move it and try to support it against something. And then I just double check my notes, which I did before, and it looks like this screw also need to be unscrewed. It's on the side of the starter, so you had seen I was removing those two, but it looks like I forgot about this one. And I remember while I was looking on the different movies and also on some guy who was tearing down those gearbox i thought that it will be useful to remove it so what i'm gonna do i will just remove it gently and gently is because my support is not so best so i think that's our 11 screw yeah right now we have 11 and now I do have my challenge to part it. Let's see what I am able to achieve. It is really hard with one hand, but I, again, my wish is to show you the process. And hopefully this will be possible. Let me try. I see nothing happening so far, but it also doesn't change anything. Ah, damn it, I'm not sure if I can show you all of it with just one hand. I do not have enough torque. Okay, let me try to find some better way. Two things happen. <laughs> the first one, the screw I weld yesterday failed. Damn it, no autofocus here. Doesn't matter. The second, no surprise, because I forgot about one screw here. So, make sure you remove all of them. And I will need most likely to disassemble the tool, center once again the nut here, weld it back, and be short back. Okay, some small update. So, first of all, you remember the plug I told you that most likely it's not needed? Huh. Again, check my notes. I think this is actually most important one. And it might be that those are not necessary and only this one is. But we're gonna see it hopefully once disassembled. I verify that right now no screws are in the housing or hopefully they, there is no more screw. I welded not nicely, but just welded. And let's see how it's gonna go. Again, the biggest challenge guys here is to do it in a way you can see anything because basically I do not have a torque while working with one hand and I see no actions. Damn it, I need to at least start it. I hope I can show it you shortly. I will touch nothing more than what is right now. I will just try to do the few turns. And if it starts opening, I will continue. If not, probably I will shoot something else. Yeah, I made few turns. <laughs> and what I can so see is that my puller is absolutely not surviving this. I'm not sure if you see how deformated it is. So I need to figure out some other way how to do it. I'm a bit surprised. I thought this is stronger. But probably I need to make some enforcement here. Yeah, I need to redo the tool. Okay, sometime after, same day. So the tool was redesigned. Let me put it this way, you had seen already. It's right now six millimeter sheet metal. Obviously the 
thickness had changed a little bit and also I hope that everything is fine in terms of surfaces because right now this uh, piece of steel is flat so I didn't do it in a shape like actually it's designed to or the original piece which is the cover is designed I don't think that should be a huge issue but let's see how it's gonna go so for the moment the setup is the same there is a small ball as you may remember the thread and everything else should shall work I do not have anybody to help me to see the trial so I will try to do the few turns offline and if it start going I mean I will if I break the surface of the bearing then most likely it will be possible to, to see in this at this point of time there is a zero gap so the gap shall be here for the moment it's nothing so let's see how it goes okay guys so I redo the tool I will show you after if it will work nothing special actually I just added some small piece at the top kind of cup and I think it start to open uh, but yeah let's see how it's gonna go I'm a bit surprised it doesn't open on this side but it does the other hand here so I will try to open it keep opening if I succeed then fine you will see how it's gonna work and most likely on the other gearbox I try to just maybe find a way how to fix the cell phone just to show you the whole process but Okay, let me try to continue. So, small update here on, uh, on the topic. I need to redo a tool a little bit, so I need to cut out the old uh, nut and the old screw. And right now I, I just had prepared the screw, I was unable to find one. So what I did basically, I made a screw and a nut here. It's 27 millimeter, so it will be M27. I took the measurements on the shaft and right now the screw, it's the almost same size. I cannot recall, but I think it was also something like 27 here. So both of them are the same size. Hopefully this one not gonna crash. Uh, once I will assemble everything together and uh, weld this one, I will show you what had happened with this small screw from yesterday but it was bended completely so it looks like that the force were really high in there let's see how it's gonna go with those okay guys some small update here the tool is ready well that somehow i cannot say more than that that somehow because yeah it was fairly hard to make it on the position i was <laughs> doesn't matter okay so what i'm gonna do next i will try obviously to Put it apart as you may recall for you it will be five seconds ago so but it starts to open up somewhere here i remember yesterday i was seeing it it's one day after what i'm gonna do now it's basically this is the tool that will be used <laughs> the wrench 27 and right now i will try to open it more if it starts opening i will start shooting back but for the moment i need both hands Okay, I think it goes, you can see there is already a gap, the method used here, it's like that, ah, it's really hard to show it while I'm doing this, but it really requires some energy, but you can see the gap is increasing, so hopefully a few more turns and it's gonna be open, let's see. Okay. It looks like there is a success so uh, what I did basically I screw it in I need a hammer that sized hammer I think what you can do actually is to drive it with the impact but I do not have the socket of 27 millimeters and that was the size of the stock I had to make a screw so I will show you just I need what I did meanwhile so basically I need twice go to my lathe and <laughs> make the thread longer I thought that since the bearing is only 20 millimeters it will be enough to have fairly short thread I was wrong and maybe you remember how the tool was looking like before or why I started uh, yeah it changed a bit 
you can see that the screw look like it's eccentrical it's not like there was so much force applied basically I didn't took too much care while I was installing it back to my lathe and the center was not perfect it is good enough to have no issue with uh, screwing in and screwing out as you can see it went with my fingers the ball right now uh, or for the second time when I need to insert I just put some grease to keep it and it is fairly okay so that's the part with the tool and now what you can see here it basically teared apart I didn't open it yet so let's see what's gonna happen while we'll be opening it I hope one hand will be enough you can see that there is a positioning pin here I see some parts of the selector in here nothing fall apart and fall out so far and yeah let's try to open it I will just try to go this way and see I'm sure this is free in a meaning it's released and I can feel it let me try to undo it like that let's try to do it like this there is something who seems to still keep it no idea what that might be honestly because I do not expect any part it might be the shaft itself it can be blocked on the seal because I didn't remove it maybe you remember so let's see how the shaft is looking like right now the shaft the shaft seems to be free unfortunately I think I will need a another trial with the second hand I cannot just do it okay let me try to disassemble it completely okay it went fairly easy honestly I don't know what is this piece I will figure out it later but something basically fault out I think it will be kind of related with this selector of the fifth gear if I'm recalling correctly the positioning pins are in there and this one yeah for sure is important part anyhow okay here you can see the housing ah okay I see what it is that's that's where from it came no issue at all so here is the main seal you can see it is in here I see right now what's the idea in this assembling in general you can understand now why, why it took so much force I thought actually it would go differently I didn't expect this way but right now I understand that the bearing cannot just go out because it's locked here so the idea of constructor is there are those two they are called elements in the catalog and they are basically destroying while you are I have five percent of battery so probably my flashlight from the phone went bad right now but I hope you can see at least how the case is constructed if you like to see anything more just let me know I try to shoot it because again I was unable to find it by my own so I know what kind of pain it is right that's it guys thank you